Hi, this is Viv from Plugin Republic. In this short video, we're going to look at how to create a custom product designer in WooCommerce. A product designer allows your customers to personalize the products on your site. A product might contain multiple components, and customers can choose from several options to effectively create their own unique version of the product. In many cases, product designers will include live updates of the product image to match the user's selections. By default, WooCommerce doesn't allow you to sell products that can be customized to this degree, so you'll need a plugin. The WooCommerce Product Add-ons Ultimate plugin has all the features you need to create custom product designers in your WooCommerce store. In this video, we'll take a look at some examples of customizable products and how to set them up using the pro version of the Add-ons Ultimate plugin. And at the end of the video, we'll look at how to use a couple of the extensions for Add-ons Ultimate that will allow the user to preview their own images and text as part of the product designer. So firstly, we'll look at creating a customizable games controller product. You can see how the product works here. The user can select their preferred colors for different elements, and those elements will update live on the product image. In this example, the options are displayed in tabs, meaning the user only sees a few options at a time, and they can navigate through the tabs. This keeps everything nicely organized and ensures that options are always displayed next to the main product image rather than pushed further down the page. Finally, there's a progress bar to help the user see how far they are through the product design. This is particularly helpful if the product is complex with a number of different options. To create this product is surprisingly simple. With the pro version of Add-ons Ultimate installed and activated, you can start adding your fields to your product. For our color selection fields, we're using the swatches field type. We can give the field a label, then add our different colors as options. We've got several fields here. Add the name of the color for each one and an optional price if you wish. If you want to display this swatch as a color, then just select the color from this picker here. Finally, if you want this field to update an element on the main product image, add an image for that element here. Now, on the front end, when the user selects this option, its image will be displayed on the main product image. If you're using this feature, you'll also need to check the layer images setting here. Let's take a quick look at exactly how these layered images work. Our customizable product is made up of multiple components. There's the faceplate, trim, touchpad, etc. Each of those components is customizable. In this case, the user can change their color. This means that we need an image for each component in each color that we can display on top of our main product image. So when a user selects an orange faceplate, the image for the orange faceplate will be layered on top of the main image. For this to work, you'll need to create your main product image and all component images as the same size. Probably the best way to do this is to create everything in a single file on multiple layers in Photoshop or another photo editing tool. That way you can ensure that all your layers will line up perfectly. When your file is ready, export all the component image layers as separate transparent PNG files. There's more information on this on our website. When we've added all our color selection fields, we can add some further fields if we want. In our example, we'll add an option for an engraving and maybe some possible upsells by offering other products on our site. Note that Add-ons Ultimate allows you to use conditional logic, so you can decide to display fields and groups based on values entered by the user in other fields. It also has around 20 different field types so you can include checkboxes, drop-down lists, radio buttons, text fields, upload fields, and many other option types. And it lets you set different layouts for our groups. In this case, we're choosing tabs, but we could also choose accordion, lightbox, or steps, or just display all the fields as a single list on the page. Finally, we'll enable an option to display a progress bar. Progress can be measured according to the number of fields or groups completed. 
and you can specify whether to count only required fields. So here's our finished product. The user can select all the colors they want and add any extra options. The price will update here. You can choose which of these fields to display or hide them all if you prefer. When the user adds the product to the cart, they'll see an updated version of their product as the thumbnail. And this customized version of the product image will also be emailed and added to the order. So that's one example of creating a product designer in WooCommerce. There's a similar example here, where users can design their own trainers. This has a slightly different layout, but uses the same methods. There are many more examples on our demo site. This product allows users to build their own bicycle. And here, users can specify the components for their desktop computer. And this pizza product shows you some more of the field types available. Now let's look at how we could extend the functionality of these product designers and allow users even more options for customizing products. This next section features products that are created with Add-ons Ultimate plus a couple of extension plugins. In this demo product, the user can choose a frame, then upload their own photo. You can create this just with Add-ons Ultimate, but for even greater personalization, you could allow the user to preview what their image looks like in their selected frame. For this, you'd need the Image Preview extension for Add-ons Ultimate. This allows users to preview images uploaded to the product page in the main product image. And if you'd like to let the user crop or rotate their uploaded image, you can use the Advanced Uploads extension too. This allows you to set the crop ratio, width and height parameters, image quality, and to rotate their uploaded images. This works perfectly with Image Preview and Add-ons Ultimate, ensuring that user uploads are always the correct format. And in our final example, the user can input their own text and see it previewed on the product image. For this, you'd need the Text Preview extension for Add-ons Ultimate. With this extension, you can allow users to preview their text on the main product image. You can allow them to choose the color, font, and font size of the text if you wish. By default, the plugin will use Google Fonts, but you can also specify your own. So that's an introduction to product designers in WooCommerce. To create your customizable products, you'll need the WooCommerce Product Add-ons Ultimate plugin. And if you'd like to allow users to upload their own images, you'll need the Image Preview extension. And if you'd like users to be able to preview text on the main image, you'll need the Text Preview extension. For more information on all these plugins, check out the Resources section on the Plugin Republic website, where you'll find dozens of tutorials and case studies. We have a 14-day money-back guarantee and a world-class support team to help with any questions. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons.